continue these daily videos 93 days before all dreams launches the platform okay he is like the, the mayor of the barrio i would say yeah, he's like the mayor of the barrio hey man you gotta tell nesto man to you know cut me some slack man you know nesto you won't, you won't cut me no slack people that are famous they tell the same stories what is the value for my customers what you know what's their pain point how do they gain and that's what i'm putting together today so i hope you learned something people just don't think their story is validated what's up man good morning guys today is july 31st 2024 it is 7 17 a.m here in cartagena colombia Thank you for joining me and thank you for watching my channel. Um, if you if it's your first time, my name is Hassan El Sadiq. I am an entrepreneur and I'm building a startup. Um, man, yo, so last night I feel like so I woke up today and I feel like I'm a brand new person. Last night, uh, one of the brothers that's uh, that lives here. Man, he has this amazing, amazing place <laughs> where he lives at. Um, and uh, then we got a chance to get into the steam room, the sauna, got a chance to swim, and then get back in the steam room, sauna, and then swim again. Man, just feel like I just replenished my entire body. So that was dope. Um, yesterday's video, the theme was Look, we have 94 days, so we're gonna keep this going. Now it's going to be a countdown because we're gonna continue with these daily videos. 93 days before All Dreams launches the platform, okay? 93 days and you, if you're watching this, is going to be a part of this complete documentation until we get the launch and after we get the launch i'm going to continue documenting because i am loving sharing this journey and i'm hoping that you can get some value from this journey okay so 93 days before launch um what else is going on um meetings meetings uh and just regular day of work today it's the middle of the week it's wednesday uh man i feel good gotta work out and man just just got a lot of stuff to do you know just got work to do that's it you know just got work to do um yesterday i also did a, a investment presentation for a friend of mine uh again we're thinking about doing the, the we funder and actually launching the we funder the campaign is already it's already there but i haven't officially like like launched it and um, I'm going to put that long form presentation of my deck onto my channel as well. So that is their hero story, of course. Man, listen, I'm gonna tell you, y'all missing out if y'all like just overlooking a hero story. It, but it, it, don't, it don't matter to me, you know? It don't matter to me. Like I keep saying, you know, like even if one person get value from the stuff that I'm doing, I'm doing my job because I'm just going to continue to do it. Also, uh, if you guys want to talk to me, I'm really trying to get to know my community. Man, set up a calendar. Let's meet. We can do a Zoom or whatever. I can do maybe one a day in my schedule. And uh, man, let's 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 chop it up, man. I want to see who I want to see who's watching me. What you think about the channel? Let me know. I want to really interact with you guys and really build this community, man, because look, I'm trying to tell you, um, this is, you know, this is a journey that not only that I'm on, but I hope that you're on as well when we're on a journey together. I hope you guys are building something as well. I wanna know what you guys are building, right? So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get to work. You know what I mean? I don't wanna do too much, too much talking 721. I wanna keep this short, so, uh, yeah, Wednesday, baby, let's go. All right. <clears throat> so today, one of the things that I'm working on is uh, 
So today, one of the things I'm working on is our value proposition. Um, this is very important. And just like last week, if you watched, I shared uh, Tam Sam Sam uh, and what that was. Like I'm telling you, like if you if you really watch this stuff, if you really watch what I do, like I'm really sharing me actually building this thing, learning at the same time as I'm trying to build a startup. And um, no matter what, even with like that uh, Sam, I mean Tam Sam Sam thing, like even that method that methodology and actually breaking down is just not for startups. That's actually for any business, right? That can, that 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 can be utilized for. And today, like what we're gonna break down is um, the value proposition. So basically what I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna screen, I'm gonna just gonna screen record this real fast. So you can see, so as I'm talking, I can put this into the, uh, I can put this into the episode real fast. Hold on a second. Because again, like at the same time that I'm building this company, I'm learning at the same time. So I want to be thorough and I want to build the best company. So it's nothing that I'm not willing to learn. I look at myself as I'm an amateur. That's how I look at myself as basically. I'm an amateur entrepreneur trying to help amateur athletes. Okay. Okay. So. Here's a slide for the value proposition. It says, describe the value proposition, set of de uh, desirable outcomes that you are causing for the customer to have. Bullet point four, target customer, your product provides list desirable outcomes at a price reference. If your product is at slash near new to world status, you may have to describe the value proposition for the category. So basically what that means is if your product is new to the world, uh, there's so many things, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of things that's new to the world, but it's, all dreams is not new to the world. We're better, faster, and, and better package, right? We take Huddle, Instagram, GoFundMe, put it all in one, right? Um, and like, the cloud, you know, so we put all of that in one so it's easier for athletes to do this, right? So that's our value proposition. Um, so it says, uh, you may have to describe the value proposition for the category if it's new to the world, um, as well as for your specific product. Product equals goods or services. We don't have a product, we have a service, okay? We have a service. So what I want to do is go back into a couple of these things that um, that was given to me. Because this is very, this is like, this is very, very important as far as like, like any business, you you have to have a value proposition. And not only not only this stuff is for you to go out and to get investors. You should know this inside of your business alone. Like, what is your value proposition to your customers? You understand? Like, it's just not for, hey, I'm trying to raise, raise money. These are things you need to know, like the back of your hand. You need to know these things when you're even talking to customers. What's your value proposition? That needs to be able to spit out like that, right? For, so for this right here, the value proposition, value proposition statement, for, Blank, target customer, right? So for amateur athletes, right? Who need storage for all of their videos, right? Who need a way to share their story, build community, and also earn money from that community, financial support, right? That's what my customers need, the amateur athletes, that's what they need. Our service is all in one, 
provides storage for all your videos in one dedicated place for athletes only, right? Um, we provide a way for you to build a community and actually earn money for your dream through the support from your, from your community, okay? Now, okay, so that's like the, okay, so actually I went a little bit over on that one because our service, <laughs> our service, All Dreams platform will provide what I just said. Storage for all of your sports journey in one place dedicated for athletes, right? One. Two, gives you the ability to build a community. Three, gives you the ability to earn financial support for your dream from that community, okay? That's what our service provides, okay? Unlike the competition, Huddle, Instagram, The Cloud, GoFundMe, our service is better, faster, and better packaged because it's all in one place and it's also dedicated for athletes, okay? That's, you know, so that's what we're, you know, so that's our, you know, so we would say our platform, our service, and reason to believe we are better, faster, I wouldn't say cheaper, but we are cheaper, but we also are better packaged, okay? That's our value proposition. And here is another, um, slide right here which shows like okay so you have you have your product or service right but then you have your pain relievers okay so a pain reliever is having an athlete that has their complete sports journey on Facebook Instagram on their camera roll that's a pain point for our athletes. That's one of our value propositions, okay? Where all of their sports journey is in one dedicated place, okay? And we haven't even talked about that they can sell products or anything like that. That's just, I'm just giving one example of a pain reliever. Having to have your highlights, your training, your, um, your, your story in all these different places, okay? Whether it's Instagram, Facebook, you have one dedicated place for your sports journey, which is our platform, our service, okay? Um, now, what's one of the gains when you have your all your videos in one place? You actually build a community, people that wanna follow that journey, right? That's one of the gains, right? And then, also, when you build that community, that community is watching your journey, boom, they want to uh, support you financially to help you get to your dream, okay? So that's part of the, the value proposition canvas where, you know, you, like you can, I can point out the pains, but then also the gains for my customers, okay? Um, yeah, so that's a value proposition. And like I said, like these are things that any business that you're doing, not just a startup, this is something that you should be doing as well, okay? So, I, okay, I'm going to put this on the screen so you can actually see while I'm describing this or whatever. And, um, yeah, that's, so that's what we're, you know, I'm studying today and putting together my value proposition just so I can spit it out, I know it, what is the value for my customers? What you know? What's their pain point? How do they gain? And that's what I'm putting together today. So I hope you learned something with that short thing. But that's called a value proposition. So you should be doing it in your business. Yo, bro, anything you gotta say? You know what I'm saying? On the on the, on the vlog today? I don't know. The bro, episode. You're gonna be you're gonna be awesome. You be in my guy over here doing. That's what that's what I can say. But <laughs> yep. if you tell me that. Yeah, I was just, so I was just telling him about how that guy, the 
fake co-founder almost stole our dreams. This he is, was. This is the, what I have to say. This is a jungle. First of all, in every business, it's a jungle. In right. sport business, in capital business, in anything you want to do, it's a jungle over there. Anybody wanted to go behind your back and put the knife in the, in, the, in your back? You want to go with you friendly and show the, his real face or her real face because we don't say everybody can do anything to everybody because everybody want to wanna be in the top. For sure. In the top of the mountain, but the top of the mountain since he's small. And, they, and they'll still get to the top of the mountain, yeah. you know? So, yeah, so my boy stopped by, Emmanuel, you know, he's walking down the street. He is like the, the mayor of the barrio, I would say. <laughs> yeah, he's like the mayor of the barrio. Hey man, you gotta tell Nesto, man, to, you know, cut me some slack, man. You know, Nesto, he won't, he won't cut me no slack, man. <laughs> Every time I see him, he want, he want money from me, man. He, I'm getting shaked down by Nesto, man, every single day. I can't even go to the, to the little spot and get my tacos. He want tacos, you know. He want me. To, he want me to fund tacos and everything for him, bro. I was oh like, my God. I, bro. I, 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 I if if, if, if anything, that. Nesto is going to get me out of out of out of the barrio, man. He, try, <laughs> he keep trying to shake me down, man. All right, I will tell him. I will tell him. But uh, <laughs> yeah, man, he came by. Yeah, he came by today, man. Well, just you know, just to <laughs> nah. kick it a little bit. Nah, for but. me, nah. For <laughs> here, nah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about self-worth, okay? Um, you, please, have self-worth that you are worth being a hero. You, your story, the things that you've been through, the difficulties, the, the successes, where, you know, what you have accomplished, your experiences, it is worth being a hero. But you need to know that, right? And embracing that growth, okay? That is slide two. Slide two, guys. Okay? So. Are we good now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. All right. Um, so what we're essentially assessing, we're, it's just an idea right now. Um, okay. it's, it's an idea that we're very serious about. We definitely want to act on. Um, and it is involving more on the lifestyle side of a shipping container being um, placed in a metro area. Okay. Um, we want to put essentially, whether it be some type of small business in this, in this kind of like a pop-up, uh, okay. essentially what, you know, you could do food trucks, you could do, obviously you could do like, uh, you know, bars or anything that's lifestyle inspired, um, by something that's small, mobile. Um, our biggest thing is we kind of know where we can get get it from and probably get it built out. Okay. But licensing in the city, what is required? So to, an so to answer that question, is is a few different things to that question. Um. So if you have one built, that's you know that's that's the first thing about it. It has to be as you have to get it permitted as as built, right? Rather than if you are dropping it there and building it there, that's that's a completely different thing. You had to get like the builder's permits and things like that, right? So when I did mine, I did it as built and that was kind of like the loophole because if you try to build one, 
where it's going to be there for ever is going to be probably more difficult, right? Anytime y'all need anything, any any other questions, shoot them over. Something okay. might something might come to y'all mind as soon as we get off this Zoom, <laughs> right? It always happens, yeah. right? So yeah, anything uh, that y'all need, just let me know. Will do. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right, thank you, man. Have yeah, a good one, bro. See you, man. All right. Ciao. Peace. I want you guys to get a look at that as I walk into Boca Grande right now. Uh, pretty quiet day today. Nothing major, just regular work, right? Just regular work today. Um, going to meet LJ for dinner today and uh, just going to chop it up with him for a little bit and uh, then take it in can't believe it's Thursday. You know, time goes so fast here in Cartagena. Like, I swear, the weeks just go. The weeks, the days, they just zip past, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. I like it because as soon as I wake up, I feel like, yo, bam, I get through the day. And then all of a sudden, my day is just complete. I just make sure I get everything done. During the day. So, just a regular day today, man. Nothing special. I had a, a, one, uh, a coaching call today about the shipping container. Somebody possibly wants to do a shipping container a couple and uh and give them some information about that Welcome, my friend. Gracias, gracias. Uh, and uh if they decide to do it coach them through it one thing i'm really going to be enjoying is uh like really helping people on the coaching side the things that i know out of here, uh, like on the coaching side for the things that I know that I can be able to add value to people for the things that I've already done that I'm steps ahead maybe light years ahead but even if I'm just a step ahead like somebody that wants to do a startup I can definitely coach them on getting where at least to where I'm at, ready to receive venture capital for my for my company. Um, when I started, I thought I was ready. <laughs> I really did. I was like, "Yo, I'm ready for VC funds." Really wasn't. Every single day, though, I'm getting closer and closer. So, like I said, like, it's a lot of, a lot of different problems that people may have, be it small or big, that um, I'm able to help people out with through coaching and specifically through the hero story framework because that's where I believe it starts with. It starts with your story. And the people that acknowledge that, the people that, that understand that, it'll be so much easier for them to build a business, scale a business, 
build herself as a business, scaled herself as a business. Um, but most people don't understand it anyway. So either way it go, I wouldn't be willing to coach a bunch of people on the hero story framework, it's isolated. So, uh, but as I go along building this hero story framework, I'm just like over and over again, I'm just like, yo, <laughs> these are so powerful. And the people that that really consult me on it, like they're gonna like go to another level in their business and also in their personal, uh, whether it be their business that they, you know, that they want to blow up or if they want to blow up their personal brand. Because it's so powerful, it's so powerful to know your person, know yourself inside out every single time. You never notice something, right? You ever notice something about people that are famous? Whether they go on different media runs, they have something releases, releasing, whether it be a book, a movie, whether it be an album, whatever. What happens is, a lot of the times if they go on a talk show or something like that, they tell the same stories over and over and over and over and over again, right? Because that makes them relatable to their audience and that's their story. People just don't think their story is validated. They don't think, the normal person just doesn't think they have a type of story that should be heard. And that's just so wrong, it's so wrong. So, man, tap in with me if uh, you wanna do the hero story. And uh, if you wanna jump into that class with me, let me know. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about today. But yeah, I'm out, man. My day is over with. I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, man, you guys have a good evening. Peace.